I, I feel it's more of intent. I feel, yes, uh, rumors fly around, but when you look at, uh, you can compare the profile of McAllister to that of Mason Mount, and we can see Man United are leaning more to Mount than McAllister. So, yes, we know how transfers work. They are a list. You don't necessarily pin your hopes on one player. You have a, a number of players in certain positions that you want, but there's priority. So I'm sure, per what we are seeing, Man United, uh, uh, McAllister was clearly not Man United's number one target. Okay. You know that that is Mount. Liverpool have been showing uh, intent for months now. And we almost always knew that once they show that, uh, show the money, they'll get the player. And when you, even in terms of who suits you better, I feel McAllister and his team will look at it and, Liverpool is a bar, far better uh, 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 for him at this stage. Option than, than Man United at this stage. The, the Liverpool machine is set. The the system is set. Yes, things didn't go well this season, but it wasn't about. It wasn't because of the machine. It was because of the the tools that were working with the machine. Mm. So he is a tool that when he enters this machine, we will see it being restored or start getting restored. How to, so? To, look, he has everything. It, he has everything that Liverpool wants. He has that tenacity. We saw a different side of him at the World Cup. His, his intelligence on the ball and technique, especially intelligence of the ball, on the ball. Liverpool play a very fast-paced system. When you get the ball, you need to know exactly what you are doing. Intense as well. He's played, and I think that the best McAllister we've seen is the McAllister under Dizerbi. He's very, very intelligent. And that is something that you need to have when you are playing in systems like this. At the World Cup also, we saw a... a, a, a Similar but different in terms of the instructions that he was given. If I may, if I may, Argentina played an iteration about three different or four different formations yeah. across the World Cup yeah. from the from the beginning Starts all the way to, to the, the end. end. And he seemed at home in all of them. In all of them. And you need players like that. Liverpool have lacked um, a proper midfield for the past, I think, two seasons. I think what they did last season, they 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 completely blew them, they, they, themselves away. I don't think th those guys were on their last legs, but some way somehow they still managed to. To, to get it over the line. He reminds me of what Klopp did in his first, no, I think it was second season when Salah came first and Coutinho was playing in that midfield three but was the more advanced. Yeah. Coutinho left. We saw Vinaldom do something like that at times. Yeah. And I think Klopp is, wants to re return to that, sort of play him in that midfield three but in a more advanced form. Um, I think we've even seen G uh, Gapo play in his early time at Liverpool. He 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 tried it with him of course mm -hmm. Gapo is much better in the in the front three but for me it will work at mm -hmm. Liverpool it will work and he's we should a, expect him to get goals oh he'll get goals that, that is, I don't his primary within, job within, would not be to score goals. to score within the system you, you you would see his influence that's that's what I'm very sure of mm -hmm. because his profile and what we've seen Liverpool do before it just fits it's it, and Klopp, Klopp hardly makes mistakes with, with